Hi hey everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good week. Um, you didn't do much today, just kind of, well, I did go for a run this morning and then I just kind of stayed around the house. Sent my husband to go grocery shopping and uh, yeah, not much stuff. This week, this past week was, was the first week of senior kindergarten for my son. He went three days because they had staggered start. So there was two days he didn't go. And then other kids went to kind of get back in the swing of things. Um, so that went well. Uh, drop off is still not a pleasant experience for my husband, but because um, yeah, my, my son doesn't like to, to stay, but uh, he's always very happy after when I pick him up after, after school. Um, so yeah, he's done really well with wearing his masks. Uh, I send with him a few different ones, like in a, in a pouch. And, uh, he tells me that he tries out a couple throughout the day, you know, just cause you know, this friend had this color one. So he put that color one on and blah, 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 blah. So they, he likes to, to match with his friends. So, so that's good. So, um, yeah, when, whenever I pick him up, he has his mask on. So, um, that, that's going really well. Um, I want to thank all my subscribers. Gained a couple, a couple new subscribers over the last week. So up to 158. Thank you, everyone. Your support is, is very much appreciated. Um, yeah. And, uh, and thank you for the kind comments. There's a couple comments on my last video and I, I appreciate that very much. Uh, as far as haul goes, I actually got a couple of things from a de-stash site. Um, so it was a Canadian de-stash site, I believe. And the first one is the filling station from Hometown Holidays. And then the post office from Hometown Holidays. I think I want to start a collection of those and then possibly not necessarily do all of them. Sorry, I'm really wiggling the camera here. Um, not necessarily do all of them, but maybe do a row of the ones that, that I choose to collect. Sorry, my back's really bothering me. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had to carry my son out of the grocery store kicking and screaming because he wasn't listening. And then ever since that, it's hasn't, hasn't been too happy with me. <sighs> All right. So, um, I didn't do a lot of stitching this week. Um. I don't know why. I guess just getting back in the swing of things with school, maybe. Um, yeah, no particular reason, but uh, yeah, not too much stitching. Um, but, and and I didn't really stitch on anything I had planned to stitch on either. So kind of went off, off topic a bit. So for Enchanted Stitches, I was working on Rack Stack. And so that was for the prompt something with feet, I believe. And so, as I had mentioned before, I frogged out, I had this whole body done of this deer. I'd frogged out the whole body because I thought that the Joshua tree thread I had was looking more green. And so that is just with the DMC. So put the DMC in on that one. After I did all the frogging, worked on this antler a little bit and this head, that deer. I don't know, this gray may look as much green as the Joshua tree. I think the Joshua tree looked more green, but I'm not frogging it again. So we're sticking with the DMC. <laughs> so that's what I, I did on that one. And then um, what's kind of turned into my um, Schitt's Creek stitching. I don't know why, but it has, um, is the birth record I've been working on. So I got this bottom section done here. Um, I am gonna need to get more of this purple, this 550. I think I've already used the skein on that mermaid, almost. And then I had what I thought was almost, like a good amount on this one. But when I was doing the inches, I fell short on what was rem the remainder of the skein. And then the dye lot was just enough to be off. 
then I just blended the two threads together and I, you can't tell the difference. And again, it wasn't a huge difference anyway. So, but I think I'm going to need, because I think her name is mainly in purple, purple and pink. So I'm going to need to get another skein of that so I don't run out. This was started during lock, we'll say lockdown, um, in, um, like, so when, like, I really couldn't get any, 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 any supplies, but I lost my words. Um, so, and she knew that too. So I said that I would get, pull some colors and I happened to have that, um, roll of fabric. And so, but now I can go. And so I will get another skein of that 550. So yeah, that's, that Hank is that mermaid that has taken so much for sure. So then the only other thing I worked on and, uh, and this is, um, was a prompt from stitching 911 Facebook group. I don't have a cover photo and this chart, is, this chart is no longer available. It is a Splash Mountain inspired chart by Sapphire Mountain Handicraft, Handcrafts. Um, and I'm playing a little bit of fabric chicken. But now I see it on camera, it doesn't look so bad. I was really worried. I do still have a flower that goes out probably a couple more stitches out, but I think it'll be fine. So I actually got quite a bit of work done on that because before that I just had right. So. And I've also realized that I'm missing a lot of colors and a lot meaning at least three that I've come across so far that I don't have. Uh, I thought I had them all, but I'm guessing when I went to Michael's, they didn't have them all. And I just bought what I needed wow. to get me started or what they had to get me started. And yeah, so now I'm just creating a list of ones that I need. So that is, yeah. It's only stitched on so not very much at all for my September acrostics I'm thinking Rockstock is maybe included in that I can't recall it's off my head um, yeah but that uh, the Disney chart was a prompt from uh, stitching 911's Facebook page Stacy just said uh, you know, post on something that relates to a vacation or somewhere you'd like to go and obviously Disney would be that place so that's why I pulled that out which is good because I hadn't worked on it just doesn't fit with any of the other prompts that I had planned but that is okay um yeah so as far as next week goes should be a full full week of school so that's good um I was helping out with a different client and a different recruit than I usually do and hopefully fingers crossed that will be wrapped up tomorrow or next week should be tomorrow um just so I can get more focused on my own stuff because we're really busy again at work so that's good but it just means that I've had to you know work longer hours which is every day but um longer than I would like on, on things just to get my own stuff got up. So hopefully that will be wrapped up and I can get my head above water a little bit on that this week. And as far as stitching goes next week, I kind of looked at the enchanted stitching prompts, but not long enough to kind of nail down anything. Um, there is a sal going on that I can't remember the hashtag for, but for that autumn alphabet by Willow Hill Samplings. Um, is with that blue pumpkin. So I ordered my supplies for that today. And um, yeah, so that's in the Stitching 911 Facebook group. And also something that I wanted to mention, I didn't bring it up, but I also ordered my first sampler from Traditional Stitches in Calgary. I believe they're in Calgary, Alberta. They are 
doing an exclusive um, sampler by Hands Across the Sea, um, Ann Morrison. And I think they are taking orders until the end of the month. And it's going to be a 100% exclusive, like their next, their third run of the chart will be their final run. And yeah, so it's a commemorate their 20 year anniversary, I believe, of the store. So I have that order placed and then I think they will ship out everything sometime in October with a style date December 5th, maybe. Um, so if you are interested in that, definitely check that out. Um, and, uh, anyone that did place an order, I don't know if it's continuing, but up until now, at least, um, you also received a free little, uh, freebie chart with the newsletter of another sampler from Hands Across the Sea. So I have the fabric and some of the threads for that. And I went to Michael's to get the rest of the threads for that. I think I was only needing like four and, uh, but the lineup was too long. So we just left for four things of thread. I'm not standing in line with a five-year-old. So, um, but yeah, so that's another thing to check out. Um, if you haven't already and, uh, yeah, so that should be fun. I think I liked the sampler cause it was colorful because I haven't really done a sampler yet so yeah we'll see we'll see how that goes so those are kind of future future plans um stitch from stash isn't going so well i have to relook at my spreadsheet on that because then when i posted someone told me my calculation was wrong it was by two dollars so okay so i gotta look at that um and i don't have any finishes yet so maybe for next week i can put in some of the projects that I could finish early or quickly, I should say, um, that might count. So, all right. I think that is it. I hope everyone has a good week and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.